This is Trip. Welcome to my little channel. Hope you're having a, a very good day and, and a very good week. Maybe you'll decide to, to sub to the channel and like the video and feel free to comment at the end of the video. As usual, I want to know if you've tried this Jimmy John's Little John sandwich. It's new. So let me know in the comments below if you tried it, if you like it, or, or whatever. This is a new sandwich from Jimmy John's. It's $3. And what I paid for it is $3, just like advertised all over the internet and the Jimmy John's website. I like to examine the, the containers that food is in. All natural meats, fresh baked bread. Yeah, that's good. When I went to Jimmy John's this morning, that the the cashier thought that I thought that I wanted a, a regular sandwich, and I thought about getting two of these, but as you maybe know by now, I'm lucky just to finish one, even half of a sandwich. This is basically half of the Jimmy John's sandwiches, so. Maybe I was mumbling. Maybe she asked her, why am I mumbling? And I said, well, I don't really mumble that bad. I mean, I think I eat pretty clearly, if you know what I mean. So I started to get to like a different one. I wanted to get the roast beef one in addition to the, to the salami one. Which this is a salami sandwich. And I thought, well, if I got one whole sandwich, that's just like, oh, uh, you may as if you, if you get two of these little half sandwiches, you may as well get a, a whole one. Except if I get him the two sandwiches, now you can have like two different things. And these Jimmy John sandwiches are based on, you can get the, the Little John version, any of the, of the, the seven main sandwiches, what they call the seven originals, I guess. That's a nice label. Jimmy John's, thank you. I like Jimmy John's. Maybe it costs a little more than Subway. I don't know. Maybe the smallest. I'm very sensitive about this microphone. I mean, I'm very aware of how noisy it is. And for the toss. Okay. So, I have my notes, of course. The Jimmy John's $3, Little John. Like I said, it's kind of a small version of the original. And it's made with the same meat and vegetables and everything that's on the regular size sandwiches. Except it's just a, a smaller sandwich, half the size. So you'll find about half the meat and half the cheese as the original. It's, Jimmy John says it's the skinny version, the skinny version of the, of the original sandwiches. And this is one of the, these sandwiches are part of the permanent menu. It's not a limited time offer. I think it's a great idea because you can get about half of everything. It's great for just like a little snack or or maybe you don't want a, a complete meal. So I think it's really a good idea. It's about 250 to 300 calories in all of these. The one I picked was the, the Little John number no. 5 French bread. It has 200 and 200 and and 90 calories. It's salami, capicola, provolone cheese, onion, lettuce, tomato, oil and vinegar, and oregano, along with basil. That's more like the Italians say it, oregano and basil. Americans and British will say We'll say it differently. This time I didn't make the mistake of forgetting the spicy mustard. 
I don't think it's an, a regular ingredient of these sandwiches, at least not from what I read. Mr. Bunny says hi. But I'm going to see how, how it is, so I'm going to cut this in half. And one of my subscribers said that the plate makes too much noise. The nice silver, silver, uh, silver china. But of course it adds a lot of class to it. So I don't know. But I'm conscious of, of the noise that the, that the fork and the knife make on the, on the china. And by the way, it is the, the proper way to hold a wine glass. Thumb and forefinger, or fingers. Because someone said I was holding it wrong. Maybe that was in another video. Maybe I was doing something like that. I, I don't remember. Okay, finally. a cross section. I just cut that half off for you to see the inside. You can see the provolone and the salami and we'll open it up like this too. Let you check that. Yes. see the time. Good gosh. It's seven minutes. I've already gone seven minutes talking. Hmm. I actually did a poll today to ask you all if I talk too much. Most of you said at least at this moment, most of you are saying, the overwhelming majority is saying that, that I don't talk too much. I think I may talk just a little bit too much. And a few of you think that too. Hmm. And that's that classic French bread. Classic Jimmy John's, anyway. As usual, everything and all the ingredients seem so fresh. The, the tomato, the, the lettuce, everything. Good, good meat, too. I wish there'd been a little bit more oil and vinegar. But usually I'm complaining about things being, um, you know, too much sauce or too wet or whatever. So I'm not going to complain. This is perfect. tasted the provolone a little bit.
This is a perfect little sandwich. spicy mustard on this one on this this other half the half of the half sandwich you might say just a little don't want to kill the taste like I'm always saying and that is all just a tiny wee bit there Jimmy John's. Hmm. I could have put some more spicy mustard, but I won't. Just plain water today. delicious. Yeah, the spicy mustard adds to it. I should have told her to put spicy mustard. Or some mustard. Really a good sandwich. 
Jimmy Jones has not disappointed me yet. You can hold your wine glass any way you want to. If you hold it like this, though, you see it, it, uh, it warms everything up, warms the, the wine up, whatever you're drinking, it doesn't have to be wine. Some purists insist that you should hold it like this. I find that kind of awkward. And possible, or possibly you can spill it that way. That's it. Jimmy John's $3, Little John. And I really enjoyed this sandwich. Hope that you'll be able to find one wherever you are. And they're trying to, to expand, I guess. They're still trying to expand and find franchisees. So maybe you can get in on, get in on that. It's a, it's a good chain. So this is Trip and peace out.